We have coaches' thoughts on the Southern Scuffle. Right now, we'll look at a team that went into the Hall of Fame this past fall, the 1977-78 UNI Wrestling Squad. This fall, the newest members of the University of Northern Iowa Athletics Hall of Fame were inducted, and receiving recognition was the 1977-78 Panther Wrestling Team. This was a special group of student athletes who fought and clawed their way to the NCAA Division II national title for their head coach, Chuck Patton. It was a, it was a solid team. I thought the team before might have, might have won it as well, but we didn't. We flubbed our dub and finished uh, out of the money or you know, second or third, whatever it was. And this team came roaring back and uh, it was really critical for us was to get Gary Bentram back. You know, he tore his shoulder apart in September. Uh, hardly competed all year. We, we, we just didn't have much hope for him and he still had the grit and the guts to come back and wrestle up two weights and win another title. So he, he was critical to us. And then the freshman guys, Joe Gormley and Kirk Myers, <clears throat> stepped in and came through for us. And Keith Pullman as a senior won it again. And so it was, it was really a good working team. The squad boasted three individual national champions in 1978. Gary Bentram at 158 pounds, Keith Pullman at 167, and Kirk Myers at 190. You and I also tallied seven place winners at the 1978 NCAA Division II National Championship meet. Uh, well, as college students, they were all, they, I think all the kids I've ever coached graduated. You know, they all got degrees, so they were here for that. But the reality is they're real hard workers. Um, when you get eight, seven or eight of the kids that on, on the team that become All-American and three of them win national titles, it's kind of a special group. It's not, it's not easy to get there. Doesn't make any sense what level you're at. It's hard to put a team into a title. The University of Northern Iowa is known across the country for its success in the sport of wrestling. It's always important to recognize and honor the coaches and student athletes that devoted so much to the program and helped build on its rich wrestling tradition. This 1977-78 national championship team was one of the best to ever compete for the Panthers. Like any team, it's, it's a group. It isn't just the 10 guys that wrestled in the tournament. It's the team. So the issue is, can, uh, can we honor those other guys who they spent as many hours, they may not have had the talent, or they may not have won the spot on the team, but they were just as hard working. And so that was critical to us when we announced that they were gonna induct this team into the, into the Hall of Fame. That it wasn't just a tournament team, but it was all those other guys. So we're pretty proud that a number of them came back. A number of them wrote to me emails. How did you get my email? I didn't know that you'd still be in touch with me. It's 40 years ago. You know, that kind of stuff is really kind of pleasant and a, and a real pleasure to me.